Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Man, what a great day today. It's super warm out, though, so I'm going to be raining before you know it. So I'm standing here in front of this gorgeous piece of machinery. Dolores, 1984 Freightliner, cab over, shorty. She looks longer because she's got the wings, but she's just a short, small bunk, cab over. She used to have a <clears throat> big Cam 3 Cummins. That motor was junk, so we pulled it out, and we installed a green Detroit diesel, 8V92, 435 horsepower, and a 13-speed transmission. This old girl been sitting in the woods a long time, and uh, let's run over some of the things we've done to it so far. <clears throat> so far, we've done installed the engine, transmission, had a drive shaft built. We got the wheels and tires off it right now because I had to borrow them to get Truck X home. So we're going to put some wheels and tires back on this thing. We'll put some brake chambers, some air hoses, some air lines. We'll go inside. We'll put the proper uh, brake valve in. I put an MV3 in there. It requires an MV2. If you guys remember from uh, Franny over there, we did the same mistake. Uh, so we'll have to get that valve changed. We'll get some uh, wiring done in, done in there. I got a key switch and, and a push button. We'll have to wire that in, get the truck powered up. It's got a new model starter on it. We need to we need to get the batteries back in it, so we're going to be buying some new batteries this week. Uh, but right now, the most immediate thing is we have gotten the uh, we've taken the frame mount and bell housing mount off of this truck, taken it to machine shop, and got some new ones made. And we got some new ones made for Crystal in the 12V92. But we've recently got those back, and so we're going to put this motor mount back on today. And then I'll take you for a quick little tour of what's going on with the truck. So uh, let's get started on. Huh? One thing I like about this truck is the cab jack works really well. And uh, the Freightliners have a dual, have a dual motion jack up, back and forth is up. So not just a one-way pump, but a two-way pump. So we'll go ahead and get this cab jacked up which will give it a chance for all the water that's inside to run out the wheat poles in the front. Uh, so we'll get this jacked up, we'll get it up on the, the safety catch, we'll get in there, we'll get your eyes in there, we'll get the mount reinstalled, and we'll kill any of these uh, striped wasps that we've run into. Yeah, I really enjoy the way this thing jacks up. Um, one other thing I probably haven't told you yet, but I did find a uh, I did find a radiator and a rear cutoff that I'm gonna get some parts off of for Franny. But uh, the radiator's been a big holdup on this unit because. This engine, I've run this engine an awful lot with no cooling in it. And uh, you know, that's super hard on the sleeve O-rings. And so it's, I'm interested to get, uh, get a radiator in this and uh, get some water in it and make sure that the engine's still good before we go too much further. Uh, of course, anything that's wrong with the engine we'll fix, but you know, it'd be super cool if there just was anything wrong with it. Anyways, I'm gonna get you stationed up over here somewhere so you get your eyes in there and uh, we'll get that mount on well i'm not really sure if you can see what we're doing but this mount is going to go back on the frame here and then we got the old mount we got the old mount that's got to go back down on the transmission of course we got to find the fasteners and uh we'll get it just set up on there we'll get this in and we'll get the bolts in and then uh we'll get her mounted up i'll be right back i'm gonna try and find the bolts what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little blue loctite on each one of these these bolts and uh we're gonna put this mount in there We'll probably just start the top bolts first. Um, because if I remember right, it's kind of hard to get to them. Um, 
So probably set it just like this and then reach under the frame rail here and uh, try and start this nut. Um, seems like seems like maybe right there is the uh, is the hole I mean, it's really not uh, easy to find what we'll do is we'll get a couple started and uh, then we'll see if we can get the other mount in and uh, see what we can see. I'm not sure. I have it in the right hole doesn't feel like it Oh, okay, so. So, it's a little weird that I can't get it to start, but we'll uh, get that worked out.
Okay. Not see what not sure what you guys can see up there, so might bring you down here and do a little up view. I can't see anything, I'm doing this by feel. We gotta make a bracket for these fuel filters. I hear the uh, cab creaking down, which is fine because, you know, we've got the safety catch on, so it'll come down and set on that. I got almost, almost these, all these bolts in. Um, just going to work on getting them tight. We'll get them all flush and then I'll run a wrench down on them tight if anybody wants to know what this engine serial number is uh, just say so in the comments oh i see a i see a, a wasp nest up there well, them are some big ones we're going to make sure we don't uh we don't irritate those guys so i can get a little can of liquid irritation out here smoke those fools good thing i did that because I would have tried to put a radiator in this and uh, those things would have been firing me up old school so we're gonna, we're gonna let them build for a minute while I finish getting these bolts uh, trued up and then I'm gonna grab a can of liquid death and take that take that crew out there's one two three, four, five, six, uh, six wasps over an inch long. Um, they're black and uh, black and brown. So they, uh, they probably light me up pretty good. But we're gonna see how they like that. That foam I'm gonna put on them here in a minute.
Uh, okay, I'm gonna bring you down here. All right, guys, so uh, I don't know if you can see them up there, but here goes. Hopefully you got to watch that. Now I've got to jack the motor up and get this mount in here on the frame. Uh, hopefully my jack will still work. further I got to go. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit actually. It's going to be kind of difficult. We'll keep going up and we'll come up from the bottom. in there eh, not a whole lot of anything but uh let's see we will come in from the front yeah come in from the front we'll put these bolts in Um, seems like there's, seems like there's a, okay, we'll see. this one yeah he's right here
Oh shit. All right, so we need to change this pipe. This one's rusted off and uh, it's a pretty simple job. It'd be nicer if the, uh, if the, uh, if the clamp was in a position where a guy could get on it with, with a power tool. Come on now, get out of here. Everything's all in my way. And crap, but okay. We're going to uh, back these all the way off. get a couple new ones of these made because they're uh, super expensive to buy and uh, it's got a special special end on it Ouch. All right. rust left in there from the other one and so what we'll do is we'll put this piece on like that and then we'll stretch these clamps over and then put the nut back on tighten it up and then uh, we won't be losing that precious turbo boost anymore you can see what I'm doing here. Probably not. Mm. Alright, well anyways, we're just changing this exhaust pipe. 
The other one was broken in the bellows. I'm not even sure why they have a bellows on there. Maybe it cracks pretty often from the vibration. Um, but I don't know. But it's been... Been driving me crazy. And now it won't, because that pipe is solid. All right, let's see. Well guys, uh, those were two, two of the things on my list uh, to get done today. One was replace this pipe that was broken at the bellows, and uh, we did that. And then the second, or the other was to uh, get this engine back on the mount, which we did. Uh, we need an alternator, so I'll get an alternator coming and some brackets and get that uh, alternator plumbed in. We got to go later this week. Uh, I'm gonna try and go over and get the get the radiator out of that uh, out of that cab over over at Roger's house. Uh, Roger the uh, Roger the tow truck guy, not Roger, my son-in-law. Um, I also want to get these mounts off. We're gonna be uh, solo tank on this job, and uh, possibly a hydraulic tank here. But we need to get those off because that's just annoying. We got to get a couple of these. I think I'll get that one off of. Uh, Roger's cab over as well, so we can have dual exhaust on this truck. Uh, we got to get some, uh, we got to get some chambers changed and some air hoses. Um, quick release valve, MV2 brake valve, and uh, get some air lines for the transmission. Um, what else? Uh, other than that, that's it for today on this truck. We'll go ahead and put the cab down. I'll let you watch that. This cab works really well. All right.